How did energy drinks impact the pupils there? Um, has a massive impact on their behaviour, which obviously affects their learning. Um, really, um, in young people and children with ADHD and things like that, some of them would have three or four cans even before lunchtime and they'd just be really acting out in the classroom. So it became impossible to teach. And this is aggressive behaviour? Yes. Um, fighting, I've had chairs thrown at me, swearing. And, um, and also you've had sexual remarks made yes. towards you? Yes. Um, Yes, I have, yeah. Um, and, and do the children say, do they then sort of try and explain this away? Do they, do they realise that it's because of the energy drink? Some of them will say, oh, sorry, miss, I've had loads of Red Bull this morning. Some of them think that it helps them with their learning to um, be more focused. And some of them just use it like a drug, literally, so that they can sort of buoy themselves up, ready it's for a, a day high. of... Yes, ready yeah. for a day of... Did you, um, did you try to confiscate them? Um, it depends on what the policy is of the school. So we, as teachers, we're not allowed to search um, children, we're not allowed to search their clothes or their bags or anything like that. Sometimes we'd refer it to a senior teacher who might be able to do something, but they say, oh, it's theft, you can't take it off me. You know, you're going to be stealing. Did you go to the parents? Uh, yes, the schools do sometimes go to the parents, and the parents say that they don't really have any control over what the children are spending their money on when they go out in the morning. You know. Well, we're going to talk about the impact of, uh, of the, these sort of drinks on children's teeth a, mm. a little bit later, mm. and it is catastrophic. Um, but, um, but for you, it, uh, it made you decide to change your career. Yes, yeah, I quit teaching at Christmas. Um, and I'm in a different field now. And that's fundamentally because of, of the behaviour uh, yes. after the kids drink yes, these drinks. Yes, yes. It really, really deteriorated over the last sort of three years. It's really become a problem. You'll have five or six children in every class who are just off their head on caffeine, basically. It's just shocking. It really is. So, Alice, I mean, what, what is in it? Why, why are they so dangerous? Well, it's a massive industry, £2 billion industry, marketed for endurance, for stimulation, for energy, for athletic performance. They've got many mainly caffeine, sugar, and all of them different amounts of different ingredients, but largely taurine as well, which is an amino acid. Some of them do, some of them don't. Let's have a look at what's in them. So Red Bull, this has got uh, just over one shot of coffee, so one and a quarter shots of coffee, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teaspoons of sugar, lovely for before school. Mm. Um, Lucozade, which brands itself as a, not a stimulant, just an energy drink. This has got just the six teaspoons of sugar. Sorry, I'm spilling all over the desk. And how much and then, caffeine? And then for caffeine, it's just go one shot. OK, let's have a look. I mean, you wouldn't even think about giving your kid a coffee, oh, would you? you? Just I mean, you just wouldn't. That's would in your head. People seem to realise that. But then it's in there. Not Monster, how much time have you got? Two and a half shots of coffee. <gasps> just the 14 teaspoons no of sugar. Oh, let's just put it all in, you know. 14 teaspoons of sugar. I mean, that's... And, and children are replacing meals with this. Instead of having breakfast, waking up in the morning, they're have, waking up, having a can of this, going to school, and then they suddenly sort of almost needing... To, uh, had to have absolutely. more by lunch. And if you what, go through so the moving, rest of them... Moving down here. We've got Rockstar Endurance, 17 teaspoons of sugar, more than two and a half shots of coffee. Relentless, 14 teaspoons of sugar, just over half a shot of, of coffee. Boost, seven teaspoons, just over one shot of coffee. And Sainsbury's own, seven teaspoons of sugar just over one shot I of coffee. I had a look at the uh, the back of the Rockstar can. It does say not suitable for children on the back of the can. Yes, that's what it says. And the British Soft Drinks Association said they shouldn't be marketed for children. But everyone drinks them. They are marketed and they are sold to children and they love them. And young people, it's a kind of an image thing. There are no restrictions. Waitrose is the only supermarket that has said we will not sell these to under 16 year olds. But what? 16-year-old or 14-year-old pops into Waitrose before school mm. in the morning. They don't. They go to the corner shop or they go to their local store. What are the effects on the body? I just don't think people realise how serious they can be. So a lot of people that buy these products don't know that they can have a serious effect on you if you have too much of it. These should not be taken by children at all. They are products aimed at adults. The high sugar content, we all know what too much sugar does you know long term it has uh, an effect on obesity heart disease risk liver disease risk it can affect your teeth obviously as we know um obesity is linked to cancer and therefore you know there's some serious stuff there caffeine on the other hand um if consumed in small moderate quantities it's not going to cause you any harm but in children it is linked to behavioral problems sleep disturbance headaches and we don't actually know what the long-term effects might be we have had case reports of from america of children dying 
Oh, it's been God. about 30 deaths reported in association with energy drinks. A large Canadian study showed that over half of 2,000 young people that were drinking energy drinks had at least one side effect. And some of these could be as serious as, you know, heart problems or seizures. And we do need to take this seriously. So a parent watching now who maybe hasn't put restrictions on these, what would you say to them sending their kids off to school this yep. morning? Because it sounds, now you know the facts, utterly irresponsible yep. to let it No continue. young person under the age of 16 should be consuming these products, full stop. Um, the, those children of that age, young people of that age, do not need energy drinks. And there are a, vo a huge range of alternatives of soft drinks and things that they can have that won't cause them so much harm. So unsweetened squash, fruit juices that have been diluted down, water and milk. If, if they want hydration, that's fine. If they want energy, they will get that from their normal diet. They do not need these stimulating products. These are for adults, not for We had a, had a poll this morning. We said, should energy drinks be banned in schools? Over 10,000 uh, people have, uh, have voted on the poll. 96% said yes, they should yeah. be banned in schools. Only 4% said no.